This video will review the process of assigning pre-made PARP diagnostic practice tests and teacher-created Common Core assessments to individual students and or classes. To assign an assessment, begin by first selecting the Assessments tab and then choosing the Standards and Subject grade level from the drop-down menus. Hover over the Options button to the right of the assessment title. Click the Assign link. If you are assigning to classes, select New Class Assignment. If you are assigning to individual students, select New Student Assignment. Choose the following test assignment parameters. Select the testing window. Enter a start date and an end date in the fields provided. Next, set the available time. Choose for the assessment to be available to students 24-7 during the testing window or limit student access during the testing window to school hours. If you limit access, select the start time and an end time and whether the test will be available every day or weekdays only. There are three different test modes. Diagnostic mode does not provide coaching feedback to students. Students may change an answer before submitting final answers. All questions are scored and recorded in the teacher's online gradebook instantaneously upon student test submission. The teacher will need to complete scoring for any written or essay items to generate complete results and make available in reporting. The practice mode provides coaching feedback to students when incorrect answer is given. No test results are recorded in the teacher's Insight Gradebook. Student test results may be emailed to the teacher if a valid email is entered in the teacher's profile. Open access allows students to submit practice assessment, view their results, and begin assessment anew repeatedly through the testing window. The last mode is quiz mode and it is a combination of diagnostic and practice modes which provide coaching feedback to students when incorrect answer is given. It's important to note that only the first response is scored and recorded. Once the student clicks end test at the last question, the result is officially submitted and may not be changed. All multiple choice responses are scored and recorded in the teacher's online gradebook instantaneously upon student test submission. The teacher will need to complete scoring for any written or essay items to generate a complete list of the results and make available in reporting. You may also select the question order. If applicable, order questions the same for all students by selecting standard test defined sort order. To randomize order for each student, Select Randomly Generated Sort Order. Random order is not recommended for English Language Arts assessments. The teacher has the option to suppress answers to the student on their personal prescriptive path. By selecting No, the students will see the answers to the assessment upon completion in his or her student P3. By selecting Yes, Students will not see the answers upon completion in his or her student P3. If yes is selected, choose how many days to suppress the answers from the drop-down menu. At the end of the testing window, the answers will stay suppressed for the amount of days you choose in the drop-down menu. After the date, the students will find answers under his or her results section. Lastly, Select whether you would like to assign the assessment to an entire class or classes or individual students. If new class assignment was chosen on the previous screen, place a check mark next to the classes to receive the assignment. If new student assignment was chosen on the previous screen, place a check mark next to the students to receive the new assignment. Then click Save. 